it. Please, I mean, we only have 16 million episodes of the manga of Vampire Night. Can we not have a season three? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so, whenever I get an audition, it is harder for me to go, nah, it's just an audition, it's fine, just throw something together. Every time I get an audition, for, because you're, you're creating the character, mm -hmm. and it's like coloring this blank canvas, and I just get so excited that every role I audition for, I'm like, oh, I would have so much fun doing this. Please let me do this. Please let me do this. Please. And uh, and it, it's very it's very rare that I am ever like, if I get this cool, if I don't, whatever. I'll say that for everything because I don't want to sound super desperate. Um, but at the same time, I'm just so excited to get to go to work. I mean, for Lucy, I auditioned for every character except Lucy because I was like, Fairy Tale seems like a really cool show, and Lucy seems like a great character. But let's be real, I'm not getting cast as Lucy. Um, so my audition for Lucy, because I refused to say the lines because I was like, don't do this to me, don't make me audition and like break my heart, was um, me talking about how much I really loved the show, and then found out that like the first three, like the first line was Lucy saying like, look, not to, I just really want to be in Fairy Tale. And I looked at the director, had not seen her sides, looked at the director, he's like, I want you to read for this other character, Lucy. I was like, look, Tyler, I just really want to be in the show. And I don't think it's fair that you're like, you're using that pain to like, <laughs> like manipulate me into doing this. And he's like, actually, that's good. Uh, <laughs> and like, so I ended up saying like two of the lines after, after he played for me. He's like, so this is the line and this is what you said. I was like, huh. Maybe we are similar. <laughs> but that's been the case with everything. I mean, I get so excited. I know when they asked me to audition for Gage, uh, Chris Sabat called me and said, hey, can you just record something for me really quick? And I just moved to LA and I was like, uh, I, I don't have a studio set up. He's like, just record something on your, in your closet, on your iPhone. I was like, okay. And then I send that in, I'm like, your box is not gonna hire somebody. Who sent in an audition, and uh, after two weeks, uh, I hadn't heard from Sabbath, and I was like, man, I guess I didn't get it. And then my agent said, uh, are you coming to Texas soon? Because you have a lot of hours to record for uh, Overtron. And I was like, for what? And I texted Sabbath, I was like, am I coming to your studio? And he goes, yeah, stupid, you're in, you're in <laughs> And I was like, Am I? He goes, oh, was I supposed to tell you? Did I not tell you? <laughs> no, you didn't tell me. He goes, you're coming back, right? I go, yeah, for my birthday. He goes, hope you're cool. We're on your birthday. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was really cool. But I've had an experience like that with literally everything I've gotten cast as. And then characters that I have not gotten cast as. Where I'm like, <gasps> please let me play this part. And then I'm like, oh. And then I see who got it and yeah. go, okay. That's a... Yeah, I get that. That makes sense. Cool. Uh, we have, yeah, one back here. I thought first, and then we'll do that. So you can do yours. Uh, what's your guys' favorite anime? Like, what, what kind of opened your eyes up to the beauty of it? Uh, for me, it was A Silent Voice. That movie, love that movie. Just mm. breathtaking in every way. Uh, just what, what was your favorite? Um, well, in the world of anime, uh, the very first time that I saw an animation, an anime, was watching Sailor Moon as a kid. And I was like, this is really cool that all these women are here and they're like saving the world. And they're like teenage girls and they're like not just, there's not like, oh, this is the strong one, this is the funny one. This is, they're all strong and funny and weird and emotional. They're like, Real people, which I thought was interesting, and then um, I also loved uh, Pokemon as a kid because my brother and I would go do card game tournaments on the weekends, and that was like our bonding time. Um, I lost every tournament, but that's okay. We were together, and I collected all the cards. Um, but I think uh, when I started working on these shows, I, I worked on this show called Ghost Hunt, um, and that was the first time that I was working on an anime that felt like a movie and it felt like I was working on like Ghost Whisperer and since my background was in film and I was like there's a, this isn't really funny this is really serious and it's kind of dark and like there are some funny moments but the director really that. wanted it to feel really honest and real and so that was my first experience of doing uh, like a 
realism esque cartoon, and now we do that all the time. And I love getting to bring the realism of film and mixing it with animation and knowing that it, it's just expanding the reality of what we can do um, as as actors, uh, which is is pretty great and still making it feel rounded, even though there's some pretty fantastic elements going on. Um, but yeah, I, but that was the first time I think when I was playing my, my hair was up <coughs> like hers at the time. And so every time I walked into the booth, I felt like somebody just animated me and put me into the thing. And I was really on set every day acting out these things, which was pretty cool. Um, over here for this one. Yeah, I had two questions. Um, as Sailor Venus, I know that you, you did the redub. Did you feel like there was a lot of pressure to get her right? Oh, a thousand percent. Uh, when I got called in to do my first session, because she shows up later, um, they brought me in and said, you know, obviously you're playing Sailor Venus, and all we have for you is an eye catch, where she just said, Sailor V. And um, he said, so we're going to take a lot of time getting that right, and we also have some wallet for you. And I've done dubbing for forever, so we had the three beeps, and then all I had to say was Sailor V, and I froze. I couldn't, I just freaked out, and I felt really embarrassed. And Jamie, um, who is the owner of the studio, is like, okay. And I was like, I just, this is Sailor Moon. Fans love this show. And if they don't like me, then I'm like, they're going to say that I, I ruined this show for them. And I ruined this dub. And I don't, I don't want to be responsible for ruining that. And he's like, first of all, why are you giving people that are going to be mean to you the power to be mean to you? Uh, it's like something that I saw at the airport yesterday. No one is driving you crazy. You're handing them the keys. So why am I like handing somebody the keys and being like, hey, say all these horrible things about me. Or like, here's the knife, stab me in the heart a couple times. Um, and so I was like, well, that's a good point. He goes, oh, and furthermore, the creator in Japan, the creator creator, she handpicked you from your Sailor Moon audition. She heard you say your name and said, that's Sailor Venus, I don't want to hear anything else. So he goes, if the creator said, that's my Sailor Venus from you saying your name. I don't want to hear you have any insecurity. Say the line. And I was like, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> so like, then, and then when we all found out, all of us were terrified. And uh, we were told that they played all of the auditions and the creator handpicked every single one of us. And they said, so if you are insecure, first of all, check that at the door because the Guardians would be insecure about the fact that they have to save the world. <coughs> They're still doing it. So check your ego and your insecurities and do your job. And once I was able to do that, I like loved being there and I have these amazing girls. And then we had the original cast that was there when our cast got announced and we were really nervous how that was going to go. And uh, they were so gracious and still are. Whenever they're at a convention, they're like, come sit with us. We all want to sign with you. They'll say, go get the other girls. We're all in this together. And it's this beautiful sisterhood. And they do not have to be that gracious. Um, but I had this really sweet moment and it made me cry. Uh, the original voice actor for Artemis grabbed my hands because um, none of the Sailor Venus voice actresses were there. And he grabbed my hands and he was like, it's a very important job, Venus. And it's in your hands now. And I was like, oh, oh my God. Um, I was like, this is so cool. And he was like, as, as your cat, <laughs> I've got your cat. And every time I see him, he's like, how's my Venus? I'm like, oh my God. So it really is a, a beautiful, the show is beautiful, but the people that have been associated from any dub or any part of it are so gracious and so wonderful and such a beautiful family. So it's been amazing. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna do one more question because Almost over, so we'll have this. Okay, um, this is for both of you. So, how would you feel if you, Tiki replaced um, uh, the little one? Uh, no, the the daughter. I forgot her name in Sao. Oh, uh, you, oh you, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be interesting. Well, there is a season four, so maybe Yui needs another AI to come hang out and sort her. I mean, Kirito and Asuna can totally take on another little tiny creature to take care of. And then how would you feel if Asuna became Ladybug? Wow. Whoa. What happened? 
Welcome to my mud. <laughs> <laughs> the internet just went, okay, that's an interesting fan art crossover. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for coming here. Thank you. Thank you. 